So the point of this video is to talk about um, this latest project of mine. It basically uses a G25 um, steering wheel and pedal set to control a RC car um, via a Arduino Uno and a um, transmitter module. So uh, basically all the wiring diagram, I'm not going to go over that, um, that's in the readme. Um, in GitHub and the setup as well, but basically um, it uses just the steering wheel. And the uh, gas and <coughs> brake pedals, so the gas will... and then brake and reverse is all on the same pedal. Okay, and let's see, this is just a micro low C um, Truggy, I haven't played with that in a long time. But basically the gas, brake, and steering wheel are mandatory, and the shifting knob is optional. What the shifting does is it will set um, throttle limits. Basically, on first gear, so I've defined four sets of um, four gears in the code itself. That means you can have um, currently, without making further changes, you can have four sets of throttle limits. Um, the reason for the throttle limits is that um, this micro truggy here it can actually go really, really fast indoors, which is what I'm driving it at. And if you set it at with no throttle limit, it's really hard to control because basically, like the first few millimeters of your gas pedal <laughs> will be enough to drive it around the house. Um, so if you have different gears set, then basically you can set the first throttle limit, basically first gear, to something really low so that you can have the entire pedal gas pedal range um, for driving around the house. And if you want to drive a little faster, then you can switch it to the other gears. I I would say for me, in this micro truck gear, stay in first gear pretty much throughout the house. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh yeah, for setting up, there's basically just a few um, variables that you can configure in the code when you first begin. The first is the number of channels. Uh, basically, corresponding to the number of channels that your receiver will accept. Um, and then let's see, the second is the neutral throttle, which brings me to another point. Um, so car ESCs are different than quad ESCs, uh, in that car ESCs have a braking feature, and that if you have like a pistol style controller, you'll find that um, they're often 50-50 or 70-30, which means that like half of your throttle will be for going forward and the other half will be go for going back for braking and then going backwards. Um, this braking is really nice, uh, but I haven't driven this truggy in like a long, long time. And when I first plugged it in again a few days ago, it, it worked for a bit. And then when I plugged in it again, the ESC died. Um, it's probably just due to age. I don't know. Um, but I didn't have any more of those car ESCs lying around. So I swapped to a, um, Micro Quad ESC, I think it's a uh, old uh, BL Hill ESC that I configured to be bidirectional. It does not really break like a car ESC, but it does have bidirectional rotation, which means it can go forward and reverse. So while you're going forward, if you just step on the brake, it'll just break a little bit and then head straight into reverse. It's not as nice as a car ESC, but it actually in practice it doesn't work too poorly. It, it feels pretty good. And then the last thing you want to do is set the different uh, limits um, that you want for the gears depending on um, how fast you want first gear to be, second gear, things like that. Um, so for the gears, um, so this uh, stick supports two styles. One is just forward reverse. And the other one is a knob that you can go into these different um, 
like kind of like a real car, go into these different um, notches for these gears. Um, that's not supported by the code right now. Um, I've only worked on um, up down. So you push up to go um, up one gear, push down to go down one gear. Um, pretty simple. Um, trying to keep everything pretty simple. And um, aside from that, oh yeah, the if you do want to fine tune this, you want to make sure that everything is plugged into the wall because the steering wheel and pedals will send different values to the Arduino depending on whether or not it's plugged in. So, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Um, but the wheel won't even work unless it's plugged in. Just the pedals and the gear shifter will work if it's not plugged in. But they won't really work anyway because they'll be sending different values than you need. Um, and uh, that's really it. If you've seen my other video on the joystick, then you'll see um, more details on how I wired this whole thing up. But basically, it's just a Arduino Uno with a USB shield on top. And it, I run it off of um, 2S, but you can, I think, go up to 3S or maybe even more. But basically, the power goes back here, and then it also runs power to the module as well off of one battery. And then it's just one pin for the signal, which is the PPM signal. And I forget what pin I wired is up to in here, but then it's all, it's all described in the readme file. So um, just refer to that for more details. And um, yeah, it's, it's really fun driving around the house. Um, it's very controllable, especially if you set the um, throttle limit low. Uh, uh, yeah, so enjoy.